I feel like I hear a lot of monster in-law stories more than I would have ever thought. We're checking out entitled Mother-in-Laws Who Ruined the Wedding Day, also known as Monster-in-Laws. That time, a mother of the groom tried to sabotage the couple at the rehearsal dinner. Perfect timing, right? Wrong. Reddit user says her husband's mother broke down crying for 45 minutes because she didn't want them to get married. Apparently, the bride was stealing the mother of the bride's baby boy. Well, your kids grow up and they move on and they create their own lives just like you did, mom. That time, a mother of the bride threatened to cancel the wedding over pockets. Like pockets? Like sweater pocket? Reddit user, wedding wallfly, saw a mother of the bride on the morning of her daughter's big day crying over her dress, saying it has zero tradition and mocks her ancestors. And when she saw the pockets, the horror, she said she paid for the wedding, so she was going to cancel it. Good thing the groom was the one who signed the contract. What's it to you? Close your eyes if you don't want to see me in my dress. Uh, I don't want to keep saying mother and bride, so I'm going to call them mob. <laughs> I'm lazy. They will now be referred to as the mobs. That time a mob's phone rang while the bride was walking down the aisle. Oh boy. Even worse, according to Reddit user, the mob proceeded to fumble through her purse to find the phone and then insert it. Oh my God, that is like my biggest fear is during a movie, at funerals, and weddings that my phone will go off. Like I triple, you, you see that little button on the side? I don't trust it. I triple check that fucker every time. I look at it three times. I'm like, are you off? That time a mog had a power trip the day before the wedding. Reddit user, Dragon Tears. <laughs> wow, these choices of usernames, very creative. Says her husband sent, spent an entire hour the day before their wedding consoling his crying mother who felt guilty for not helping more with wedding planning. The bride said it was a total power play and as a result, they were late for their vendor appointments. Vendor, I don't know why I said that weird. Oh, see, here I was feeling like upset for the mother. I felt bad. I was like, oh my gosh, she's crying because she feels like she didn't do enough. Little do we know. Apparently it's just a power play. I would have been bamboozled. That time a mog wore leggings to a fancy wedding. Oh no. Even though the rest of the guests at Reddit users wedding wore formal hats and tailcoats and the bride even volunteered to buy the mother of the groom a new dress. But no, she insisted on wearing what she found comfortable. Uh, listen, I understand wanting to be comfortable, but I feel like there's still a way to be comfortable in other options. That time a mog talked about the bride's virginity during her speech. Then at the same wedding, the mog gave a speech about how they got the bride's virginity tested before the wedding. Oh, and she proceeded to tell the poor bride to be open to her son's seed for the rest of the wedding. This is sick, too much. I could have gone my whole life without hearing this story. That time, a mob wore a lacy floor length ivory gown. Ivory, isn't that like an off white? So basically a wedding dress, okay. To make matters worse, Reddit user says she insisted on standing next to the couple in every single picture and kept cutting in with the groom to dance during the reception until her own sons started pulling her away. Okay, so basically she wanted to marry your man. This could be like a movie plot. I feel like that's been done before. That's so disturbing. I'm just saying, it would make for a good movie plot. But like, I'm not saying like cheesy, like romance calm, they cheated and had an affair with like your mom. I'm saying like creepy obsession, like some real twisted stuff. I watch way too much true crime. I really, and horror movies. I really need to return to the Disney channel here. My mother-in-law physically attacked my wife the parking lot, accusing us of drinking too much on our own wedding night. 
got to be reminded of this our entire honeymoon. There were bruises on her shoulders. When confronted, had no recollection of the events that occurred even though she was sober that night. Well, it's not convenient. So convenient of you to forget the physical harm you caused on my body. I'll be damned. I will hit a mother. If she hits me for, I will hit a mother. I'm just kidding. If you don't get my type of humor by now, you hate me. Shortly after my engagement, I had to send my ring in to be resized because it was a little too big. My mother-in-law asked me where my ring was and I said it was being resized because it was half a size too big. She said, why make it smaller? You'll get fatter anyways and it'll fit fine. Huh? Why is she just assuming you're gonna get fat? That's so mean and like so random. Oh, you'll get fat and like says who? Says who? That time a mob dragged her daughter down the aisle. At one particularly religious ceremony, a bride who didn't know her future husband very well, as in an arranged marriage, they'd never even kissed, oh my gosh, was dragged down the aisle by her parents. Reddit user and photographer, <gasps> wedding wallfly, they've seen it all, says after reviewing the pictures, it appears as if the parents were pinching their daughter on, on the arm to get her to continue walking. I just put two and two together. Wedding Wallfly is a photographer and they've made this Reddit username because they're a fly on the wall at weddings and they have all the tea and the stories. It's genius. Um, anyone else feel like arranged marriages should be illegal? Because I do. I have a hard time picking my own future husband, let alone trying to trust someone else to do that for me. That time a mog called the bride useless at her reception. Well, isn't that lovely? Right after the ceremony went off without a hitch, Reddit user says the mog was heard screeching at the dinner table. What do you mean she can't have kids? Why did you marry her then? She's useless. The worst part, the bride can't have kids because of a health condition. Looks like Everybody with PCOS and other conditions are useless. That is like sarcasm, guys. Um, actually, fun, not so fun fact, depending how you look at it, I have PCOS. I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't know about me because I always talk about how I don't want kids. So I don't feel the need to talk about the fact that I was diagnosed with PCOS many years ago. I was in the hospital for my ovarian cysts. Yeah, so I feel like I, I'm not sad about that because I don't want to have kids. So don't talk about it. But anyways, it doesn't make me useless. There's other ways to have children and it wouldn't make you useless even if you couldn't or didn't want to. That's so annoying. I'm just mad for everyone out there who really wants to have a kid and can't. Like that breaks my heart. I can't relate to that feeling because I just don't want kids and maybe that'll change, but I hate hearing those stories where people just wanna be parents so bad and can't. On the day of our wedding, we were taking photographs outside the church with the photographer we hired for $2,000. Oh, that's a lot of money. There was one with us and my side of the family, one with us and her side, one with us and all the grandparents, etc. In the middle of it all, my mother figures this is a great time to get a photo of just our family, which she still defines as her, my dad, my sister and me. So she asks the bride, my wife, to step out of the picture. My mom shooed away my wife, making the bride cry on her wedding day. That's the bride. You wouldn't even have a photographer there had it not been the wedding day of that bride. I guess I'm not part of the family. My gosh. All right, guys, do you, ew. Do you have any monster in-law story? If I marry the man I am with today, I would love to come back one day and be like, remember that time I said maybe I'll marry, like, I hope it's him. Maybe we'll look back on this memory of me talking about one day marrying him. Anyways, if I do, I love his mom and she loves me. So I would not have any monster-in-law stories, thankfully. Guess I'm just never gonna get engaged because everyone else in my life is engaged or married or having children, but I'll just be here at 30 watching Hannah Montana on a Friday night. I'm tired. Can you tell? I need to go before I get cranky. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Y'all can't get rid of me now.